Hi everyone, it's Eran Stern with you again, and today we are going to talk numbers. Actually, we will dive even deeper into the digits world. So, let's take a look at the final promo of what we're about to create here. Ah, nice one. You see, this is Albert Einstein, our digits man, of course, and the reason he's here is because he's responsible in an indirect way to the creation of After Effects. Want to know why? Well, it's very simple. I'll explain in a moment. But first, let me close this comp and start from nothing. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. Then, of course, he created the sun, the moon, and the stars. And a couple of years later, he created Albert Einstein, who put the mathematical foundation of the amazing software, which we know and love by the name of After Effects. See how everything relates? It's all based around numbers. So we will use the text engine in After Effects CS3 to show our respect for the almighty Albert Einstein. Anyway, enough with all the jazz and let's get down to it. First, let's create a new composition to work with. Go to the composition menu and choose new composition. I'll name it numbers and choose a value of 1000 pixels for the width and 1000 pixels for the height. Also, I'll make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels. My frame rate is 25. You can set it, of course, to 30. The duration will be 5 seconds. Now, select the text tool and marquee the whole frame. This will create a paragraph text that will cover the whole comp. Now, let's type a bunch of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and of course 0. Don't forget it. It's an important digit as well. Okay, return to the selection tool. And oh, by the way, I'm using Arial font at 100 pixels for now, but you can use any font you like. I'll select the text tool again and hide the text tools for now. And let's zoom in on our digits. Now select the text in the timeline and use the tilde key to make this window full screen so we can add some text animators to it. Open the text and drill down its properties. Go to the animate menu and add a character offset animator. Let's return to the full interface now and play a little with the character offset values. You'll notice that I'm scrubbing the value of our digits offsets to different values but still preserving its nature. This is thanks to the fact that character range above it is set to preserve case and digits. Alright then, so let's set a keyframe in the character offset to 10 in the beginning of the comp and at the end of the timeline set it to 50. A quick RAM preview shows us that we have a nice animation of moving digits. But in the first frame, they are still in the order that I wrote them, which is 1 to 0, of course. This looks a little bit odd to me, so let's change it now. Open Range Selector 1 and drill down the Advanced. Then in the Shape, change the settings from Square to Ramp Up. This will change the way After Effects is animating the numbers and to add some more chaos, change the randomized order from off to on. Now we can see our digits changing in a random way. Some of them stay longer on the screen while others change more frequently. Wonderful. Now you can close the text properties and let's fill the paragraph text with the animation we just did. Select the text in the text tools, reduce the size to 14 pixels, tab to the leading section and change the value to 14 as well. Now make sure the text is still selected and go to the edit menu and choose copy. Go to the end of the text and use Ctrl or Command V to paste the digits. 
You will need to repeat this until you fill up the whole screen. After you have a couple of lines, you can select them, copy and paste, so it will be quicker. Now, at this point, if you are not on a very fast machine, your computer will start to become sluggish. So, just be patient after each paste you do. Now, I suggest you switch to half the resolution and create a RAM preview to check your outcome. Again, you guys with the quad-core and gigaflop processors will have the opportunity to check if you spent your money wisely. This project is heavy on your processor, and if it doesn't respond as quick as you expected, just wait for it. I promise it's worth it. So, after a not-so-quick RAM preview, you should see something like this. Many numbers that just run on the screen. I ask you, how inspiring is that? Not so much, I know, but it will be. Okay, stop the RAM preview, select the text layer and open it. And now select the new CS3 feature, Enable Per Character 3D. Open up the text until you'll see Animator 1, and in the Add menu, choose to add a position property. On the first frame of your composition, add a keyframe for position and change the Z value to minus 1500. Now go to 3 seconds on your timeline and change the value back to 0. So now we have a strange line in the middle of our composition. Do you see it? Do you? I know you do. So let's fix that. Close the text animator and open transform properties. Change the X orientation to 10 degrees and the X rotation to 3. This will pivot the whole layer towards us and fix this imaginary line that we just saw. Great! We'll pan up and close the text layer and the deed is done. So, let's come back to the project panel and double-click the Albert Einstein image to open it in the footage window. You can see that I already worked on it a little bit and cleaned the black background. It doesn't need to be precise and this Lucy Alpha channel will work fine with my method. Okay, close this window and drag the Einstein image under our text layer. Click the toggle switches modes and change the track mat to alpha mat the text layer. Now you can see how Mr. Einstein is popping out of our digits. Watching the RAM preview, you can see the digit animation fills our image and eventually create the first stage of our digits man animation. I just love it when the digit still moves inside his head. I think it is definitely a nice graphic description of what was going inside Albert Einstein's head most of the day. Okay guys, this brings us to end of part 1 of this tutorial. At the second part I will show you more fun stuff and we'll continue with our design. Until then, this is a Stern for creativecow.net saying goodbye.